When the two brothers arrived at the lake, one brother told the other, go into the water, the mouse has his place somewhere in this lake. He sits watching the lake. Welcome to Canada. <laughs> seconds from getting a boulder to the face. <laughs> uh, right. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think uh, we don't want to be eaten by the giant mouse that can breathe underwater. He's going to come out there next. Oh my god! No, he's not. <laughs> Take this one slow. See, look, he comes out there. What are you doing? Right. So. I'm stuck. You need to move this guy with the two heads. Oh, you scared him off. Yeah, let's go. Oh, is it that way we go? Yeah. Right, okay. Oh, yeah, I see. Now, where does he come out? There's a oh, yeah, I see another it. one on your right side. He's only got one face, though. He's not conjoined. <laughs> yeah. Now, I've got to throw a brick at him by looking at things. Not sure. Oh, yeet! <laughs> or not. Huh. Get another brick, mate. We're gonna need another brick. I don't think I can manipulate these guys. Huh. Whoa, okay. Ho ho ho! Oh my god, he can jump out of the water. He, he, he can. He can. I think I build myself there. Right. Well. So I think we have to do the bottom bit first. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, try trial and error. Right, you go up. Can't, because he's there. You have to oh, scare have him to off. Oh, up this first, then. Yeah. Maybe. Right, on you go. And then put this down. Okay. Uh, and then what I have to launch it. Oh. Well, that's annoying. Come on. Tell me when you're throwing it. Right. Three, two, one, go. Oh, that didn't work. Sorry. For whatever reason, you decided to fold it right into it. Let's try that again. To be fair, the rock like kind of rolls away. Fuck off me! It's just right. Yeah. Go. Keep rolling, 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 rolling. Right, now I should be able to get over there and move that other thing, 
I don't know what you're supposed to do. Uh, Stay there just a minute. <sighs> okay, that. Oh. oh, I was going to say he's gone, but he's not, he's back. Well, what am I supposed to do from here? Um, I can't get back down now. Okay. Because I'm the man! Okay. Thank good for the uh, The boat! There is like. Yeah, the spirit creature. That's the way. Boat's coming. Cool. Let's go. Got it. I think so. All this for a little mouse. No, no way. Jesus so Christ. To... Just take my face off, like. Right, here we go. As soon as the current takes us. Alright, ready? Jump. And then run and jump. What's his tail? <laughs> I did not know that is his tail. Oh. <laughs> There's a spirity thing down there, you'll have to move him. I don't know how I'm supposed to get to him. Mm. It's like he just doesn't like me. I can't get anywhere. Well, I can't get anywhere either. I'm stuck against that, that thing. Maybe we're not supposed to. Maybe we're supposed to go under. No? Ah, there we go. Right. Goodness me. Whoa! This mouse is a dick. Oh, pretty much. Unless you're supposed to lure him to... No. Right. So obviously I have to be up... Oh my god. Right, I have to be up. Not that she's gonna go up, but... Oh my god, girl. I swear to god. Right, if you go down and round... So if you pull it back. Yeah. Right, you ready? Okay. <laughs> Just grab his arse. <laughs> Looks like it's gonna be a bit tricky. Oh, he moved. Oh. Oh. Why is he here? No, that's for the boat. Oh, 
if you go. Oh, he's still down there. He's still down there. Uh, I'll sort him out. <gasps> no. No, you won't. Oh, wait. Can I? Yeah, you can make it. Then there's no point in you making it because it can't go any further. Oh, he, shit. Uh, just, uh, calm down, mate. Shit. How do we get him away from there? Right, so you need to come down a bit. Where he go? Oh my god. Oh! Ew. Okay. Right, that's spooked him. <laughs> right. Stop throwing me around. What is the actual point in having those stones there? Okay though, mm. I'll roll. Mm. Oh, but he's there. Ah! Oh. Mm. What? What the hell? Obviously, the game's at the same point as us, where it's like, yeah, we've had enough of this mouse's crap as well. You know, he is a bit of a knob, isn't he? Mm -hmm. Right. So, can you? Careful. Yeah. Actually, sorry, that was my fault. Right, so bring him up. Ah, oh, the timing. Drop it in the boat, dude. Thank you. He's done it again, hasn't he? Oh no! Uh, right. To what? Keep going. Uh, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Right, I can. It looks like I can do that like all, oh. all the way around for some reason. What have we done to him? Mm. I guess that keeps the rat at the top so I can grab his tail. Oh. Oh. Like you need to move, yeah. Oh, but well, now I'm not allowed in the water. <laughs> That's good. Makes sense. So yeah, we have to scramble through all this. <laughs> <laughs> Good. See if he did the roaring, would it got me? Hooding, I seen Catagala Roman, we are nin, a glan, a wing up, fuck, give it up. He made me, I see Matukahoni, who cocked on me, Tapalomin. Yet to lapa hooding, 
Angelia mon ol laktut akilek kahlugu aving ngapak. Igling ngamen kubay chahutik pakan negat ilan norating anak si maramen dagaimin. Right. Now we've seen what he can become. Kill him I now. Know. Kill him while he's young. <laughs> Sulit aman nak kepalok bukak semarok. Tapi awing nak pak si suruk kepalami nalaramun. Si kubin lepak lu kepalok teman na. Uvona unipak tak na panigum ukoti sukanga. Yeah, that was like nice and short again. Yes, yes, we're a little bit more tricky at points. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot more messing about with spirit animals under the water and mm -hmm. puzzles were a bit more elaborate, but then the main game, which is kind of odd, but mm -hmm. I suppose it was just to get extra mileage out of the mechanic, really, wasn't it? Yeah. It was good. It was good. Yes. I mean, it was cheap enough, I think. Oh, I don't Probably just the right amount of content for the price I paid. Mm -hmm. Yes. I know we didn't do any of the Inuit's words any favours <laughs> as we tried to pronounce them. I will apologise for that now. Yes. <laughs> but made it through another game together. Mm -hmm. Yep, I suppose we could have a look at some of the insights that we found through the game. Mm -hmm. Not look at them all, but we'll pick out some. Okie doke, so cultural insights. Who would you like to see? What would you like to see? Well, we'll go with the fox. Yes. Because, oh, okay. We're getting a pure David Attenborough moment. When I was growing up, uh, my grandpa uh, had a pet white fox. If you're a good friend with a fox, when there's danger abound, they try to keep you from getting into trouble. They pull tricks here and there, and foxes are uh, like uh, spoiled little kids in that way. When you let her out, she'd go prancing out in the snow, jumping in the air. I know she was happy then. Come running at me and jump on my chest, knock me backwards, lick my face. And and I try not to let it. So that was my memory of my grandpa's pet fox. Let's go for the... Da, 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 da. The Northern Lights, because that was quite cool. Mm -hmm. They spooked it out. I when see this in Scotland, I was young, my mom, whenever the Northern Lights came out, she'd just whistle. <laughs> Boy, they come alive. Just keep whistling and that aurora will just like, you know, you can almost hear it. And then she explained to me uh, a little bit later that those are children and children who've passed away when they're children. You don't want to draw them in too much, you know, is what she said, because then they could play football with your head, play Eskimo football, and that's what they want to do. They're always playing, those children up there. Don't play out without your hood on. If you had, don't have your hood on, the Aurora person is going to come down and chop your head off and play ball with your head. It wasn't like they were trying to do bad, you know, or it was like a scary story or anything like that. It was just, that's what, that's how it was. That's what it was. Well, that had to be the creepiest version of the Northern Lights. Out there. <laughs> wow. Which one was you going to say, Joey? Uh, uh, the ice giant one. Oh, it's further along. Yeah. Him. Yes. With the story of Kunuk Sayuka, we told by Robert Cleveland, it's just a, it's just 
a masterwork. It's a well-known story among the Inupiaq people. And in our case, of producing a video game that really reflects indigenous heritage, it's, it captures the imagination. And it's something that you have a very specific kind of task to do. But there's a blizzard, you know, and it is just a non-stop blizzard that is overpowering the people. And there's one man that wants to figure it out. And in our case of the story, it's a girl that wants to find the source of that blizzard. The blizzard man, it's like that is the physical embodiment of an element of nature. And so there's a person that needs to go up and take away that, that adds, that's chipping away that, that snow. In that community, the person least expected is the one who stands up and makes the difference. Humility is something that we value. And where that comes from is the idea that you are not the biggest thing in the world. And when you live in an extreme environment like where the Inuit reside, you are at the whim of the environment, of the climate, of the animals. You can be as prepared as you can, you know, by learning from your elders that, you know, you're not the biggest force in the world. Cool, I suppose that's where we'll leave it then. Good place to stop. Good yes. place to stop. Thanks for watching our video, and if you liked me and Jebba making our way through another game, then come back and see us again in another video. Leave us a like and a comment, and we'll see you again.